Acorn tapes. Four Acorn employees have been fired. There are new calls on Capitol Hill for hearings into Acorn, and Acorn has been dropped from participating in the census next year. And Acorn this weekend now is firing back. It says the tapes are part of what it calls a long-term political plan to smear the group and is threatening to sue the filmmaker and Fox News, which is the first network to air the tapes. They are also angry and appalled, they say, at the behavior that was seen on the tapes of their employees. The recordings were not made by Fox News, but by 25-year-old conservative activist James O'Keefe and his associate, 20-year-old Hannah Giles, a college student who portrayed the prostitute. They were first posted on the website biggovernment.com. What happens is the pair basically goes to Acorn offices and they try to get an Acorn loan to buy a house that they say will be part of a supposed prostitution business. The tapes show Acorn workers willing to help and giving advice about the supposed illegal activities. Here's part of one tape from the Acorn housing office in Washington, D.C. She can perform tricks in the house. Yep. Well, Acorn chief organizer Bertha Lewis issued this statement, quote, it is clear that the videos are doctored, edited, and in no way the result of the fabricated story being portrayed by conservative activist filmmaker O'Keefe and his partner in crime. And in fact, a crime it was. Our lawyers believe a felony, and we will be taking legal action against Fox and their co-conspirators. Joining us now are the filmmakers who made the tape, James O'Keefe and the young woman who portrayed the prostitute, Hannah Giles. Welcome to you both on this Sunday morning here on Fox News. Good morning, Good to be here. Uh, James, uh, the, I mean... Uh, astounding uh, tapes why did you do it uh, we did it because um, we are Hannah and I are really uh, concerned about our country and we're really upset with the mainstream media they there's no accountability uh, uh, on our government and what's really astounding is that how the media is covering for acorn right now and attacking me and Hannah instead of in getting to the bottom of what happened it, it, there, where are the journalists well what do you mean by that well, I mean, it's just it's just shocking to me, uh, you know, that these 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 outlets like uh, CNN and the Baltimore Sun are are covering for Acorn and uh, writing in their in their newspapers and their columns about how uh, uh, when when the first tape came out when Baltimore came out, they were saying that uh, we had uh, we didn't have any others and uh, we had we were thrown out. Well, that turned out to be false. So I think we're owed an apology by these networks like uh, like CNN, uh, you know, you know. Well, this that, is CNN. Did, I mean, did, well, wait, wait, wait. Before you attack CNN, I mean, did anybody, here's a question, did anyone put you up to this? I mean, how did this all start? No, this is just completely Hannah and I. This was Hannah's idea. I have a background doing activism in the past. And uh, Hannah contacted me and, and sort of had the foundation for the idea, and, and I developed it with her. All right, Hannah, how did you come up with it? I mean, you, play, you portrayed a prostitute. Mm -hmm. You were there sitting at the table, and, and it's astonishing what some of these people say. What was going through your mind as you sat there? Um, as I sat there, I was like, I cannot believe they're actually falling for this, and not necessarily falling for it, but what can we get them to say next? Like, what, what will they do next what, to, you know, enable illegal activity? Not only help a prostitute, but also help her establish an underage brothel with illegal immigrants. Yeah, you talked about, what, underage girls, bringing in underage girls from El Salvador to yes. be in this, uh, in this house? Yes, we did. We said we wanted to um, ship the underage girls into into um, you know the neighborhood so we could establish an underage brothel to funnel James's political campaign in a few years. It's, that's such an outrageous type of setup uh, story. Uh, yeah. it, I mean, and they asked you to join Acorn. They asked us to join Acorn, and um, if we needed help on um, our taxes, they gave us a hundred dollars off so we could get started with our business. Now, James, uh, you talked about uh, the the reporting this morning. Acorn is calling it a smear, a politically activated uh, smear. Uh, is it? In your view, a smear, was it politically motivated, uh, the reason you did this? Uh, we're just trying to hold these organizations accountable. Uh, we're just trying to, to do investigative work, independent work. Um, and, and, our, and we're just asking these people questions. Uh, I don't see other you know, news organizations asking these people questions. So you know, Hannah and I took it upon ourselves to get to the bottom of what's going on. Now they say the tapes are doctored. Were the tapes doctored? Absolutely not. Um, they don't have any leg to stand on, so they're, they're, they're saying that I dubbed in my voice, which is completely absurd. Um, we, have two, we have microphone audio and we have audio off the video, uh, and we have the full tapes, and they've been in some cases given to the media. So they can attack us on that ground, but when the truth comes out in the end, they're going to be apologizing to us. Now they talk about suing. Uh, what's your reaction to that? Uh, bring it on. Bring it on? Yeah. Uh, uh, you were that eager or that willing, uh, basically, uh, and why so? Uh, eager and willing to do what? 
Well, to have them bring on a lawsuit, potentially. It's not in their interest to attack me and Hannah. I mean, there's, if they want to equate a sex trafficking of young girls with, with, uh, with videotaping someone without their consent, that's their moral prerogative. But that just shows you how, how low they are. Um, I don't think they're going to do that. Yeah, Fox News did not uh, tape these, and we didn't even know about this, uh, actually, until just very recently. Uh, mm -hmm. I've been reporting the story. Uh, what I've heard, some people would say, well, they think it's unfair. You know, these people, they were just trying to help you, uh, Hannah. They didn't know that they were being secretly recorded. What would you say to that? Um, I don't know. Do you normally help prostitutes? You, secretly recorded or not, you don't help um, a woman who wants to traffic in underage girls for a sex business to fund her boyfriend's future congressional campaign, and you don't help her lie on her tax forms about it. And this is all what they told you? Yes, it is. Uh, you went to, two tapes have been released. They've been released on biggovernment.com. Uh, that's where they've been released first. And uh, James Acorn says that you went to, what, five other places around the country where they uh, kicked you out. I mean, what can you say about that? Were there, did you find ethical, honest Acorn employees in, in, in the places that you went to that, that kicked you out and said, no, we're not going to do this, we're not going to cooperate, we're not going to have Acorn help you? What I will say is that when we, after we did the Baltimore uh, Acorn facility, they issued a statement saying we were kicked out of all the other ones. And then we came out with the D.C. one, and they, were, they turned out to be liars. So uh, I would just, I would just uh, hold out and see you know, how much they're willing to lie. And at the end of this, uh, we're going to see the truth come out, and um, we're going to see them apologize to me and Hannah. You want an apology from Acorn? Absolutely. Also about the whole kicking out, I mean... The women in Baltimore hugged me and, um, when I left, and the women in D.C., I did follow-up phone calls, and they asked if I could come and meet them for coffee so we could further discuss how to make this possible. So at least in these first two tapes, they didn't kick you out, but you, but you are saying that there were some that did uh, refuse? James or Hannah? <laughs> no. no. Oh, say that again? Uh, were there some that refused... Uh, uh, your offers that that actually did not were not willing to cooperate. No, in none of the <laughs> none of the facilities kicked us out. That's a lie. All right, Hannah. And final final point. What do you take from all this and having gone through this experience and what you learned? Um, I've learned that Acorn is extremely corrupt. That um, they will do anything to appease the community. And honestly, I am to tie this back into the whole voter fraud. If they see if they see an, uh, a girl running a brothel, and if they help us, I think they would be able to tap into voters because we help them, and we could link it back to them, and, and they could help get who they want elected. All right. Well, Hannah Giles and James O'Keefe, who made the videotape uh, that is all over the place on the internet now and has qu uh, caused quite a controversy at Acorn, we thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you, Eric. To explain more here on the Fox News Channel, Jamie.